On this week's episode of SEO Lunch, we talk about the Google AdWords Keyword Planner. Find out how you can optimize your blog writing. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of SEO Lunch. I'm your host, Dan. And SEO Lunch is your weekly look at inbound marketing tips and search engine optimization tricks to better optimize your website. As always, this is brought to you by our Slocum Themes website, slocumthemes.com. We have the best in premium and free WordPress themes. So take a look at those, demo them, things like that. Um, A couple weeks ago, we talked on the show about long tail keywords. And we'll, I'll refer the video back so you can take a look at that one. But in essence, we talk about how in 2014 and going forward, at least now, with search engines like Google, um, the way they've been optimized, long tail keywords are going to be the way of the future. So instead of doing something very simple like web design, you would do WordPress web design or premium WordPress web design or premium WordPress web design in Massachusetts, for example. Really finding those bigger keywords and using those. And while we talked about that last time, I want to show you guys a really great tool that you may or may not be familiar with, which is called the Keyword Planner. It's brought to you by Google. And when you're looking to sort of what you want people to be searching for, what's out there, you're really going to want to use this tool. So I'm going to direct you over to the screen here too. And what's really cool about the um, the Keyword Tool here is, or Keyword Planner, I should say, it used to be called the Keyword Tool. So that does not exist anymore. A lot of people use that. So if you're looking for that, this is what it is now. So you first have to have a uh, account with AdWords. And then what you're going to do is you're actually going to go to Tools and Analysis, Keyword Planner. And the one we're concerned with is the second one here. It says Get Search Volume for a List of Keywords or Group Them into Ad Groups. So we can go ahead and search whatever we want to here. So again, we do WordPress themes, so let's try that one out. So let's try premium WordPress themes. And then let's try premium WP themes, WP being the sort of the next or the uh, like shortcut that people use. And we're separating with commas. And we can just get the search volume here. It will actually add a group your idea, so we'll put them all together. So if you're putting them all on a page to show you the amount of reach you're going to get in that blog post right there. And those are the average monthly searches for that for those two topics together. So all together, people are going to search uh, 4,540 times for those two topics. Um, there's a lot of competition in the field. So what competition is going to do is it's going to tell you sort of how hot that market is. If I am releasing something in high competition, it's going to be easier for me to get lost in the fold. If it's lower competition, it's going to be um, an easier field to get into and get seen by. However, typically with lower competition, there aren't as many searches. There are times which we we might see some of those times where that's not the case, and those are the ones you're really going to jump on. And then the suggested bid stuff is if you do want to do um, PPC stuff with Google, um, which is a little bit a different story. That's not what today's topic's about. So let's go to keyword ideas though, because I really like keyword ideas. In keyword ideas, this tab basically shows you a view of everyone broken down. So if I'm deciding whether or not I want to target premium WordPress themes or premium WP themes, I'm going to see here that many more people are actually searching for premium WordPress themes. So while competition is high for both of these, I'm going to want to go towards premium WordPress themes. Let's move on to another search topic just to give you some more examples here. So let's do pasta sauce. Let's do traditional, because we always have to do sauces of some type here on the show. Whoops. Traditional pasta sauce. Let's do prego pasta sauce. Wow. I can. And let's do alternative to prego. Why not? We're going to get search volume here. And now we're going to see this stuff right here. Okay, so you're going to notice that something really cool happens here. Before we had about half those number of searches here with the premium WordPress themes, right? But it was high competition. Here we have twice the monthly searches just for pasta sauce, but low competition. So not a lot of competition here. So it's actually a great market to look into here um, to say, oh, great, we can go here and 
you know, comparatively. Prego pasta sauce gets 320 hits, so not a lot. And traditional pasta sauce and then alternative prego, nowhere to be found. So I really wouldn't consider concern myself with these. I would include pasta sauce in my typing a lot. Maybe even write prego pasta sauce or alternative to prego pasta sauce. But as long as pasta sauce is in there, it's a good thing. And again, when you're looking here at the ad group ideas, this gives you a better idea here in this case, where you have a lot of monthly searches and low competition, which is really, really nice. And let's move on to a third and final example here, just to sort of give you an idea of sort of how these, how you can use these in different ways. Let's say I have a dairy or a bakery that's gluten-free, right? Dairy-free. Which one should I focus on, gluten-free or dairy-free? Which one's the hot ticket item? Let's find out. I now go in here. Wow. So gluten-free gets 90,500 hits, and the competition is only medium. This is a great market to get into when you're doing your blog posting. So including gluten-free, gluten-free bakery, gluten-free bread, whatever it might be, right here, great, great topic. The bid's low too. I mean, this is just fantastic. But then I look at dairy-free, and I notice that it's only 1,600 hits, even though it's low competition. I would pursue the gluten-free here over the dairy-free. And this is just a way to kind of look into, you know, what you might want to do for your business is take all the keywords that you think you might hit for, so all your different servicing, and go right in there, enter them, and get your search volume. This will give you an idea of where to go when you're typing your, your blog posts to sort of maximize reach, which is really, really cool. So I really hope this uh, tutorial was helpful, guys. Please let me know if it was helpful below. Um, you can always subscribe to us at the big old red subscribe button. Check out more of our SEO lunch videos if you found this one helpful as well. Um, if you have any comments about it, any suggestions, you want to know about other tools, other ways we can help, please let us know. Um, again, this is brought to you by Slocum Themes and our new socialized themes. So take a look at those. Um, let us know what you think about those as well. As always, folks, have a nice day. See you next week.